advantages of test cases why do we need test case what is the main advantage of writing these test cases because you always have a phase called planning in waterfall model we have seen earlier so in that planning phase we dedicatedly write test case so what is the main advantage of writing this test case and spending the time so first thing is coverage so say for example you have 50 requirements and if you start testing as such you will not know which has been covered which has been tested and which has not been tested. So in order to make sure that every requirements are tested, you have to write the test case. For each requirement, you will be writing a set of test cases, either positive or negative or however it is. For each requirement, you will be writing a test case. In that way, you can ensure that all the requirements are covered. So this gives the best coverage. So that is the main advantage of writing test cases. The next one is the approach. Approach is nothing but from where to start your testing and where to end your testing. If an application is given to you, you can randomly start testing the application, but you will never know from where to start and where to end. If an app is given, for example, any application, mobile application is given to you, the first and foremost thing you tend to test is the login one you you initially register login and you can start testing but it's not the case you should always test the home page or the landing page that is the main initial step in starting the execution of a particular application may maybe it is a web application or it is a mobile application the home screen or the landing screen or landing page has to be tested first because as soon as you download an app from your app store or google play store or as soon as you enter any website from google the first thing you could see is the landing page or the home page so it has to be tested properly that is the starting of testing that is the start of testing actually so that is where you have to start the testing so likewise while you write a test case you know from where to start and where to end without writing test cases you will not have an idea to start testing the home page you can directly go into registration that is how we used to think if an application is given to you or if a website is given to you we'll try to log in or we'll try to create an account register and we'll try to log in we will never know what is the page which is displaying at the start so these are the common examples that to know the flow of the application we should definitely need a test case and with test case you know which are the dependent modules like if you log in then only you will be able to complete a purchase you cannot purchase as a guest user so login module is dependent to complete a purchase so in that case first login module has to be tested so by writing test case you know what to execute first and what to execute next the dependencies or the relationship so that is why we need test case the third thing is to track of the steps like for example while writing test case I, I have shown you the steps steps are nothing but the flow of executing a particular test case so you should know the flow correctly let me put you with an example for example what happened was it happened for me in my previous company which I, I worked it was a mobile application when I was testing the mobile application there is an option to upload my profile picture like whatsapp so what happens is if I tap on the profile picture and if I edit and if I take I mean take a picture from the gallery or take a new picture and if I upload my profile picture and save it is working and again if I go back and tap the same profile picture the app is getting crashed let me put you in a clear way when I change my profile picture it is getting the new profile picture is getting uploaded and after which when I go back and do some chatting or if I go back and view some of the contacts view some of the messages and then when I come back and tap edit on my profile picture it works but as soon as after upload as soon as I tap on the edit after successful upload of new profile picture again if I click on the edit button the app is getting crashed so this step has to be very clear in order to reproduce this issue or to retest this issue this 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 is an issue which was identified by me and while the defect is fixed I was not there to retest so someone is going to retest this issue so they should know how to retest this exactly that is why we need the steps so the test case will have steps that is more important to know the flow of testing 
how to test a particular test case that is more important for complex scenarios or confusing scenarios like this you should definitely know the step what you should do is you should log in you should tap on your profile picture you should click edit you should replace a new profile picture and then immediately you should again go to the profile picture and tap on it you should not go back to any other screen if you go back to any other screen and come back to profile picture it works so you should know how to execute a test case that is the main reason how to execute a particular scenario that is the main reason why you need a test case so the next one is it reduces the dependency which i have told you earlier when you write a test case elaborate format of test case with steps and how to execute a particular scenario with the flow and everything there is no dependency on you if you write a test case and if i come and execute by reading your test case i will know how the application should behave and how it should not behave so it reduces the dependency next one is reusability reusability is nothing but to reuse a set of test case for example if you are uh, working on a mobile app it goes iteration by iteration first iteration you have tested registration login and some of the pages after you login and in the second iteration you have uh, you have you know introduced the new modules such as payment registering your account number and so on your paypal account number and so on so in that case your login module your registration module and your initial pages which you have executed in iteration 1 same test cases can be reused you don't want to think of a new scenarios because those modules are similar and you can reuse the same test case not even now if in core banking industry in a banking industry you have a core banking software and uh, that software is there in the bank for around 4 to 5 years and after 5 years there is a small change you are going to introduced in the customer module so in that case you can go back and you can take the previous old test cases for using your regression testing because the application is the same for all the 5 years only a small tweak is going to happen in your customer module so what all the test cases which you have executed before 5 years for this application you can reuse the same test case for doing your regression testing so that is the main advantage of having the test case you need not have to sit and write on that particular time you can save actually the time even though you have you have executed that 5 years back that is the same functionality you should check whether it is not going to get impacted because of a new change so you can reuse the same test case it actually saves time so the next one is evidences always test case is an evidence if i ask you have you executed all the requirements if you say yes how will you prove that you will prove with your test case see for this requirement i have executed this test case and this is the result for this requirement i have executed this test case and this is the result so test case is always considered as an evidence or a proof so for a, a best example of that proof is if you had a chance to work with visa or mastercard or with any payment related central body or something like an rbi so if you do a certification testing visa or mastercard will certify you or your bank based on your execution result so they will also verify what is the case that you have executed and what is the result and based on the test case and the result they will certify your product so the test case is a main evidence for visa or mastercard to certify any product any banking product for example any new card or any new terminal your bank is going to launch you have to do a particular certification with visa or mastercard or with any scheme rupay or amex or whoever it is so they will give you a time slot and in that time slot you have to execute a set of test cases and you have to share the test case along with the log with visa or mastercard or rupay or any scheme and they will certify your product so here your test case plays a major role and it is considered as an evidence these are the major advantages of writing test cases thank you